G'day, welcome to the Motor Project. In this particular video, we're going to install two devices which are really plug and play type things that don't require a lot of sophistication um, and complex processes to go through in order to get performance improvement in the bike. Now, an important concept about these bikes is the performance is pretty much judged these days by uh, fuel emissions as opposed to engine performance. So what we want to explore is what we can get out of the engine in this particular case without you know, doing damage to it and um, you know, in a simple way. The two devices we're going to install is first of all a Sprint air filter. Now these are a high performance filter, uh, pretty much claimed to be the best in the world and from all the research that uh, I've done in leading up to this point, uh, they consistently show a horsepower improvement on every bike that they're installed on. These uh, don't have a cotton gauze, they have a, uh, a polyester filter which is claimed to outperform cotton. They are 100% waterproof, dustproof, do not require oiling and very simple to install and uh, get the benefits of better oxygen or airflow through the motor. The second device we're going to install is called a Memjet Evo. Now this is a real simple plug and play device. It doesn't require any sophisticated tools to install and uh, it works with the temperature sensors and gives you the opportunity to adjust the carburation of the uh, motorcycle and the way the fuel is managed. Now, these are made by a company called Jet Prime in Italy. You can plug these in, um, in, in a simple way without any modifications to the motorcycle at all. And it's got a dial that you can turn from zero to 10. And when that dial is set at zero, the bike remains standard. It's as you'd buy it from the factory. But then as you turn it, it starts to adjust and play with and change the way the carburation works for better performance. And uh, also in the readings that I did with this, they say that uh, as you adjust this, it's not gonna put you in a situation where you cause damage to the motor. It's just going to adjust in response to temperature settings, uh, the way the fuel is managed. So um, there's nothing to, to do but plug these in and uh, show you how they fit. Installation of the Memjet Evo unit on the liquid-cooled R1200GS is actually quite simple. On the right-hand side of the uh, bike, of the fuel tank, what you want to remove is the plastic panel that sits down the bottom of the tank and then loosen the main uh, side cover here. And then once you've done that, right, you lift up the tank and underneath just there is the temperature sensor unit. Right, so just behind that panel here is the temperature sensor unit. You can see it up here. And it is simply a matter of unplugging it and then plugging in the uh, leads, which just simply bypass it or join it to the Memjet unit. Okay, so you'll see here the final wiring or installation just before I zip tie everything. We've got the Memjet unit right under the uh, pillion seat. The wire simply routed underneath the plastic uh, mounting area under the back, across the top where the battery is located, and then it just simply connects through a joiner straight up to the temperature sensor unit. And uh, what I particularly like about it is it can be removed at uh, any point in time and unplugged. It can also be set at zero so that there's no impact or setting at all. It just runs in standard mode. So there you have it, uh, it's pretty much installed now. Um, what I particularly like about it is it's super simple to attach. Um, it is definitely a plug and play type of device. The, uh, the good thing about this device is you can unplug it and then just reconnect the original connections and you've gone back to exactly how it is the way that you got it from the factory. Um, the wiring and routing of wires and the location of the Memjet Evo control unit itself is again very simple and there's multiple choices. I chose to put it under the uh, pillion seat so I can just simply lift the seat and have a bit of a play with it and uh, you could fit it somewhere else but I'm pretty sure that once you've got this adjusted where you want it you would just leave it where it is. So uh, there's nothing now uh, to do other than to take it for a ride and uh, test the different settings and see what it does.